Chapter 7, Section 6 is about systems of linear inequalities. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to solve systems of linear inequalities by graphing them, and also write and use them to model real situations. So remember the word system just means two or more of something. So this time we have inequalities on the same coordinate grid, so the ones that we are going to shade in. And a solution to one of these is any ordered pair that makes both inequalities true. And the awesome thing about this is there's infinitely many of them. So that's why we graph them so that we can see all of them. So two or more form a system. The system below describes the lavender shaded region of the graph. Notice that there's two boundary lines. So with this one, we graphed two different equations on the same grid. This pink one right here includes all the areas over here. And then the blue one included all the areas down here. So the solution to this system is where those two areas overlap. And when we do this, I'm going to have you write an S where all the solutions are, just so you know. So let's graph one. So the, both of these are in y equals mx plus b form. Let's graph this first one. I'm looking at my inequality symbol and I know I'm going to need to draw a dashed line. And because it's a greater than symbol, I'm going to need to shade above. So we'll start down here at negative 3. Go up 1, or up 3, backwards 1. Or we can go down 3, forward 1. And we'll draw this nice dashed line through here. And we want to shade everything above. So everybody up here is in our solution area. And then the next one is also in y equals mx plus b, so I don't need to do anything with that. Again, I'm going to draw a dashed line. But this time I'm going to shade below because it's a less than symbol. So I'm going to start at 2, and then go down 1 over 2. Or I can go up 1, backwards 2. Draw a dashed line through these guys. And shade everything below. So now remember, we're looking for solutions to the system, solutions that work for both inequalities. So where that's true is this area right in here, where it's both blue and green. So to simplify that, I'm going to have you write an S, S for solutions, right in here. Because basically what happens when you draw two equations on a grid like this is you break it up into four different parts. This part up here where it's just green, this part here where there's nothing, this part here where it's just blue, and then this part here where you have all your solutions. So by writing the S in this part, I know that you know exactly where the solutions are. So let's do another one. So the first equation is in y equals mx plus b form. So let's start with that one. I'm going to start at 1, go up 3 over 1. And go down three, backwards one. And I'm going to draw a solid line because it's less than or equal to, and I'm going to shade below. So solid line through these. It's not very straight. Let's try again. There we go. And remember, you want all the y values that are below this line, so it's everything on this side. And then the next one is not in y equals mx plus b form, so let's get it there. Let's move the 4x over. And then we'll divide everything by 2. So we get y has to be greater than negative 2x minus 4. So now that it's in this form, I know where to start. I can go down 2 over 1, or up 2 forward 1. And because we rearranged this, now we can kind of cheat and look at where we need to shade in. So we need to draw a dashed line, and we want all the y's bigger, so we need to shade above. So draw ourselves a dashed line through here, and shade everything above. 
So again, we have four parts to our graph. This part over here with nothing. Let's make this a different color. Nothing's over here. There's no solutions. It doesn't work in either equation. Up in this little triangle up here, this just works for the green equation. Down here, this stuff just works for the blue one. But our solutions that work in this system is this big region right here. And that means that absolutely any point in this area will work. This point right here, this point up here, this point up here, a point that's way over here that's off the graph, down here, this one. All of these will work in both the blue and the green equations. So let's do a story. Suppose you want to fence in a rectangular garden plot. You want the length of the garden to be at least 50 feet and the perimeter to be no more than 140 feet. Solve by graphing to show all possible dimensions of the garden. So the things that we don't know are the dimensions. So since we're on a graph, we got x and y. Now it doesn't matter which one you make the length and which one you make the width, as long as you label them. So then we're going to write our two equations. So the first one, you want the length to be at least 50 feet. So since length was x, we want x to be at least 50. So that means we would be happy with exactly 50 or anything bigger than that. So we want x to be greater than or equal to 50. So we'll go on the x-axis here and we'll find 50. It's right here. This tells us that we get to draw a solid line. So 50 is included. Because it's just x, we know that it is vertical. And we want all the x's bigger than this. So we want all this stuff over here. Any of those values will work. And our second equation says that we want the perimeter to be no more than 140 feet. Now remember, perimeter is adding up everything. So when we're talking about x's and y's, we have two x's and two y's. That will add up to our perimeter. So that's our equation, 2x plus 2y. And instead of equals, we want no more than 140 feet. So we want it to be less than or equal to 140. Now this line again tells us that we need to do something solid. But if we were to solve this, we would get something that has a slope that we can't count on this graph. So I'm going to solve this with intercepts. If I make x equal to 0, that means y can be 70. And if I make y equal 0, x can be 70. So I'm going to use those two points. So I'm going to use right here and right here. We'll draw our solid line. And stop and think about what no more means. This line right here represents everything that's exactly 140 feet. We want our length or our perimeter to be no more than that, which means we're going to shade everything below. So our solution area for this problem is this super tiny little triangle right in here. Any point that's in here will work. So we could choose a point right on the edge. And now this point says that our length would be exactly 50 and our width would be 0, which doesn't really make sense. But if we chose this point right here, it would mean that our length would be 50 and our width would be 20. That right there would use up exactly what we have. And then any point inside of here, absolutely anyone, will work. So you should be able to solve systems of linear inequalities by graphing. So I'm giving you a problem that is all about inequalities with graphing. It starts with a story. So you should be able to answer your story by graphing. And then answer these three questions about your graph when you get done. We'll go over this in class tomorrow, so make sure you write down any questions you have. Have a good night.